Hey, what's going on YouTube? Brown Cinema here. Uh, this video, I'm going to show you an update of what has happened in 2021 and some plans for 2022. So please stick around. So first off, we had some new carpet installed coming downstairs. We used to have some really, really, probably the original carpet down here. So now we got this nice soft carpet to come down. And I also had an official brown cinema sign made. So as you walk down into the theater, that kind of greets you. Had some more signs made. Superman. We still have the Spider-Man and the Batman symbol here. And the Punisher, the big Punisher skull is still over, over there. The rack, nothing has really changed too much with the rack. Still have the same equipment. I have a network switcher on the back, back side now, so I got everything connected to that. On the top, hidden up there, you can't really see, is a Shield TV. That was added recently this year. I have made some more acoustic panels, I'm kind of moved them around. So I've got some more up here. More across here, so this one here, and this one here. Um, I have my buddy making some wood similar to these. So I'm going to place on top to make those a combo panel, as I kind of enjoyed the sound when they, when I had the small uh, combo panel mounted right down here. Uh, a couple more panels on either side of the screen there. Uh, before I do the front stage, theater seats have remained the same. The JVC still sitting up top. Really, really enjoying that projector. Super, super happy with it. Still using the iPad to do most of the controls, um, but I have added Alexa in there to do voice controls for controlling lights, turning everything on, which has been come, become really handy. Uh, still have the Harmony Hub. More acoustic panels in the back. Focal area 906s in the rear. The 905s still using on the sides. But I recently purchased a, another set of 906s, but in the same color as my fronts. And I'm going to be using those for front wides, so they will be placed somewhere over here and over here somewhere. So that means that I have to update my processor. And I am 90% sure I will be getting the Anthem AVM70 to replace the AVM60. I'm super happy with the AVM60, but the only reason I need to upgrade is because I want to add some front wides in here, just for some extra immersion when it can play through those channels, because I've read up that it's not always active, but when it is, it's very nice to have. Har bottle. M18S doing some near field on the main seat. Dayton UM18 sitting in the back. Just a couple of bean bear chairs that don't really get used too often, but they're there. Movie collection is slowly growing also. And as you can see that I don't have as many UM18s anymore. I have sold off uh, three of them because these two monster 24 inch subs have made their way into the theater Funk Audio 24E and the Harbottle Audio C24L2 very very powerful subwoofers and the 24 inch looks monstrous compared to the Dayton UM18 and as you can see, I have sold off one of my amps. And that gap will be filled 
hopefully in the next month or two as I plan on getting uh, a couple crossins for underneath my seat. So more and more stuff coming. Um, yeah, most speakers haven't changed. They're still the same. Hopefully, if I can find some Focal in ceilings with the same uh, flax driver that all my other ones are using, then that would make this a complete Focal theater, minus the subwoofer, obviously, but everything else would be timber matched pretty much. Still rocking the same. 110 inch delete screen. It does the job for now. And still using the mini DSP uh, to control all the subs. But other than that, that's pretty much what happened for 2021, 2022 this year. Um, I will be getting Again, the Anthem AVM70 and adding my front wides. The Crossons should be showing up and maybe update some Matmo speakers. But so far, I've been very, very happy. A lot of changes were made in 2021. So hopefully 2022, the progress continues. Thanks for checking out the channel. Please subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know what you guys think, what changes you would make. And please stick around as I have a few more videos that I'd like to come out just showing a few more things of my, my bass response, stuff, stuff to do with BQ, and some future things that are coming in. Thanks.